Can you explain the duties of a race marshal? Yeah. Yeah, it's like I'm Doug Grillo. I'm the race marshal for the 2013 uh, Yukon Quest. And basically, at this point, I have oversight over the entire race. We have a lot of other professionals out there. Dr. Kathleen McGill, our head veterinarian, Alex Olison, our uh, checkpoint and, uh, logistics managers and coordinators. And uh, I will work very closely with them during the race at this point and uh, provide whatever global oversight's needed to make sure we get everybody safely to Fairbanks. How many race judges are you overseeing? We've got four race judges this year and myself so we'll have five officials out on the trail and uh, what we'll do is as we go up the trail they will space out and then we'll have every checkpoint covered with an official and a veterinarian and then we basically uh, follow and leapfrog the race up the trail with myself and my four officials. Mm -hmm. So you overseeing that all the rules are, are being kept? Yes absolutely uh, in addition uh, that's my judge's primary ability or primary responsibility along with mine is the rules and all the procedures are being uh, equitably you know administered across the board that's what we want is a fair equal race for everyone and um, that falls you know to myself and my judges and the only other responsibility that I really have is the oversight over the entire race my judges serve as my deputies for this mm. race so if there's a penalty to be had, then, then you would decide what the penalty any, is? Anything of any significance at all, we'll do that in conjunction with my officials. If it's a dog-related issue, obviously Dr. McGill will be very closely consulted you know, for that, or at least get a very good opinion on it. Um, there are uh, quite a few penalties, minor ones, that are in the rules as far as lost mandatory gear that I don't necessarily have to make a judgment call on. But uh, anything major, I will be making the final decision on any significant monetary or time penalties in conjunction with my judges. So, but uh, the race, uh, the race veterinarians advise you too? If it's a dog related issue, if it's a dog related issue, like uh, hopefully not, but ever any kind of a perceived mistreatment or anything or neglect, then uh, we would certainly have consultation and to see if it was preventable what occurred. And that gets closely monitored during absolutely, the race? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we have a tremendous uh, vet team out here, and the officials and myself work very closely with the vet team when it comes to dog care. Uh, we talk to them after every dog team is examined and uh, go right down their veterinary book. So we really follow uh, the race teams closely on this particular race. And it's good because on this race, we will get to see the same dog teams. It doesn't get so strung out that uh, that um, different vets will be seeing different dog teams all the way up. The same veterinarians will be seeing a lot of the same dog teams. So we can kind of watch it as a trend develops or a, you know as a history as the race progresses up the trail here, mm -hmm. which makes it really good for us and the mushers. And uh, do the race judges give advice to the mushers too? Or um, they can do a little bit of advice. It, it's absolutely a self-sufficient, you know, you're on your own, it's your own race. Um, we will uh, give answers, obviously, to any uh, rules or procedural questions. And uh, other than that, we try to truly stay out of it, stay out of the mushers' way. And it's hard sometimes because every one of our officials and myself have uh, have completed big races, and it's really hard if someone's making maybe some errors. You, it's hard not to step in and say, "Hey, you know, you might want to try this." And we just don't do that as a rule. Mm -hmm. What, what races have you run personally? Um, I've run the Copper Basin quite a few times. John Bear Grease uh, finished the Yukon Quest twice, and I did a rod once. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. Well, thank you, Peter. I'm glad you're here.